everyone, it's Brian with Gray Wolf Towers again. So today we're doing another unboxing. So this will be the next to last unboxing for a little while. This is a very special purchase that is one of those not spectacular in the normal sense, but great for right now because I'm going to be honest with you. The GPU market sucks right now. It is horrible. You cannot buy good new GPUs at, st at, at standard MSRP prices. They're all being scalped and overpriced and resold. Anything with 4 gigs or more is being bought up by miners and scalpers and just nothing for the rest of us. And anything less than 4 gigs is pretty much so old that nobody really has a need for it. This I was able to, I know they were old mining cards because I could just, I could just tell from the ad, it just, it screamed miner selling off graphics cards. However, it was a really good deal for right now and I'm hoping to be able to flip these or put them into upgraded systems so that I can flip those for more. So this was, with tax and shipping, I bought five of these and each one came out to roughly $95. So, so if I can end up with about 100 bucks after taxes and fees, I'll be happy. But it, it arrived already partially open like this. I didn't open this. So, all right, you ready? You wanna see what's in here? Uh, I don't know, should, should I show them? My son says I should I should show you. So, one GPU. Uh, uh, uh. Two GPUs. Uh, uh, uh. Three GPUs. Uh, uh, uh. Four GPUs, ha <laughs> ha and the piece de resistance, five GPUs, so, ah, get rid of that, now I did, I did peek since it did open like that, I did peek at what was in here, these are actually really cool. These are four gigabyte Sapphire RX 480 graphics cards, which are a little bit older now. They are roughly equivalent to a GTX 1060. Some games they'll perform about equal to a 1063 gig. In others, they'll perform about equal to a 1066 gig. Sometimes they'll even beat the 1066 gig. These are rather dirty. The guy did not dust these very well. There's some sort of dust and hair in the in the uh, heat sinks and a little bit on the edges and stuff. I mean, like, I don't know if you can see that, but that's just like, yeah, not good. So these are, like I said, four gigabyte models of the Nitro Sapphire RX 480s. They have a back plate, which is awesome. I love it. It makes it look a little bit sleeker and a little bit cooler. It has a nice sleek black cooler, which is going to look good and pretty close to any system. The only real downside to it is that the sapphire emblem is just silver um, etching. It's not, it's not an RGB of any kind. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's no RGB at all for this card. There are some fans for about $18 to $20 each fan. So it'd be like 40 bucks for one card um, that you can get RGB fans to put into it. I thought about doing that, like pimping one out and, and selling it for a little bit more, but I don't think I'd recover my costs. Um, they, they are dual fan. They have a single 8-pin power connector. They have, looks like, 
two HDMI, two Display Ports, and a DVI on them, so they've got plenty of I/O. It's a dual slot card, so it's not going to take up too much space. It's going to be about average size. And like I said, the back plate looks really cool. There is a little bit of something on it that I'm going to clean off with when I do the video on cleaning these. Um, I'm going to have to run these though, make sure that they run. I'm going to stress test them real quick and make sure they run one at a time. And then when I'm done, I'll do a video of me cleaning them and everything. But at first I got to make sure they work so that I know whether I get my money back or not. So anyway, I, I hope that you enjoyed the look at this RX 480. It is a decent budget card for 1080 gaming on 120 hertz or lower most of the standard games things like cyberpunk barely runs on the rtx cards so it's not gonna run spectacularly on like ultra settings on these but you should be able to game even on cyberpunk 1080p low maybe even medium um, if i owned it i'd be able to benchmark it and give you better numbers I'd say you're probably looking at 30 to 60 FPS on low with maybe a couple medium settings, but that's just a guesstimate. Like I said, they're roughly equal to a 1060, and a 1060 is roughly a little more powerful than a 1650 or 1650 Super-ish, somewhere in there. So these are a little bit more powerful, but not a whole lot. Um, the biggest issue is just that they do require that 8-pin. Um, it does take an 8-pin, but if I remember correctly, you can use just a 6-pin on these, and it'll still run. Um, it just has an 8-pin slot, though, or adapter, or whatever you want to call it here. Um, a lot of these do have an LED, and I'll let you know um, if you have any questions. Ask them down below, and if you ask about the LED, I'll, I'll answer whether or not it has one. But I'm going to pop these into the test bench, stress them for a few minutes to make sure they run. Assuming that they run good, I'm going to then disassemble, clean them, and re-thermal paste them. And I'll make a video of that, of at least one of them getting taken care of. But all of them seem to have all of the port covers except for one HDMI. So, these should make for a really good, for a really good business venture that I'm trying to get my business back up on its feet and this should hopefully help since they're so hard to get good video cards right now, especially four gigs or more. So, anyway, that's a look at the Nitro RX 480 by Sapphire. I hope that you enjoyed this peek. And then, like I said, I'm going to test bench these suckers. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw them onto here and clean them up really good. And I'll show you the tools to use for cleaning on the next video, whether it's these or one of the ones from the parts hunt in the earlier video. So, anyway. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button that I'm going to post up here, and that way you can keep up to date on our new videos as well as our community section. And then, as always, if you have any questions about myself, the channel, or the product in the video, make sure you leave it in the comment down below, and I will respond as soon as I'm able to. So, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you all had a great time. Bye for now.